Hey everyone, today I've got your A Dog's Purpose movie review. A dog tries, tries to find a purpose in being, well, a dog. Will it all be worth it to discover? As far as the story goes, I really loved this movie. Uh, despite it you know, being this controversial movie in post-production as well as in the advertising stage when this movie was being promoted and a lot of people were really turned off by the fact that that behind-the-scenes footage of that dog being uh, put in a stressful situation uh, in the water when it was doing a scene that it was rehearsing for and when that video leaked of course it was going to be misconstrued as something that really wasn't happening and it's kind of disgraceful uh, that anybody would want to purposely try to take aim in a negative way towards this movie that you know a lot of people are a lot of animal rights activists the whole PETA thing that you know people are usually on the fence about at times when I actually did see the video, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't too happy that they had to come out with this right before the movie was literally about to be released. But I was still going to see this movie regardless. And I do care about animals and I love dogs. To make it look like one of the dogs was actually being harmed when it was, you know, there with its handler, the dog was fine in the end. So, uh, it was just really crazy that, you know, this all ended up happening, which made this movie end up being a slight flop at the box office. The director of this movie, uh, Liz Halstrom, who also directed Chocolat, uh, and it really had me salivating uh, once more with this movie uh, at the sight of all of those cute dogs that were featured in this movie in which they had this one dog uh, narrated by Josh Gad playing all these other dogs with their different lives, with their new owners, and it first started out with this one boy named Ethan who had this cute little dog named Bailey, 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 Bailey. As far as the casting goes, you've got KJ Appa, who also is going to be in that new TV series Riverdale, uh, which is based off the Archie comics, but in this movie he ends up playing the teenager Ethan after growing up with this dog Bailey who, uh, you know, throughout uh, the dog's life was experiencing all of these things that a dog, you know, has experienced, whether it's, you know, fun playtime or uh, having ingested something that it shouldn't have ingested and you had to take care of that business. And then in the future, when we're meeting an older adult Ethan played by Dennis Quaid, it really... Uh, brought this movie full circle and I actually liked that they ended up doing that so I was really curious to know how that all sort of like came to be if that's even you know is it questionable or is it actually possible and then you've got Britt Robertson who is also in this movie as the teenage girl that Ethan uh, you know was in love with Josh Gad who has been doing an incredible job in uh, certain films recently uh, you know, and with the upcoming Beauty and the Beast, I think he plays the voice of, uh, you know, all these dogs are like, I, I guess, like, all these different, like, souls of the dogs very well, and he just brings on a charisma that I really, uh, enjoy to listen to. So the things that I liked about this movie, this movie made me cry throughout the film, and I would say about four different times I was li literally crying because of uh, certain things that were happening that just really touched me. And uh, even though I've never known what it feels like to actually own a dog, I've had a lot of experiences taking care of dogs, so I know how it feels to eventually lose a pet, aka a fur baby. It was just really sad to watch this movie also. But I did like the comedy and the lightheartedness of the movie. So it shows not only the reality, but also the fantasy of what goes on in a dog's life. So I wonder uh, if some of this stuff is just sort of made up or it actually is, you know, realistic 
in a way to think of uh, dogs coming back to you years later after you've lost them. But unfortunately, the things that I didn't really like about this movie, now I wouldn't say that this movie completely focused on each new transition from showing a new dog's story, uh, you know, very well, because there were times when I would have loved to see or hear more about the life of one new owner with the dog, or uh, maybe uh, not having it so focused on the dog that was Bailey, but I guess, you know, it just makes more sense that way. And I wouldn't technically say that this felt like a generic storyline, uh, but it certainly wasn't as complex of a storyline. Overall, I would say that A Dog's Purpose certainly uh, had its moments and it certainly had its flaws, but I wouldn't think that it was like a terrible movie that people made it out to be. And that's why I would still recommend seeing this movie, whether you're a dog lover or not. Most of the time I think you'd want to see this movie because you're a dog lover, but just bring your Kleenex when you see this movie. So I would give this four hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of A Dog's Purpose. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got my movie reviews, movie updates, come back every week for a Trail Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys later.